Following on from my uh, previous video, which was just an introduction to the SLG 3000 Scanline Generator, um, I have done some testing, and, and in this video I'm going to show you some examples of that testing. Um, got to be honest, I am really impressed. I really am impressed. Um, I've done various things uh, testing on, on my CRT um, uh, cabinets. I won't be showing that on this video, I don't think there's much point. You've seen what it looks like on CRT as regards to what a console should look like on CRT on the previous videos that I've done because I can connect up natively so I don't actually need this scanline generator for that but what I will be using it on for my arcade cabinets are uh, for various uh, PlayStation 2 games that aren't low res, some Dreamcast stuff, uh, GameCube, etc etc and and actually also the xbox 360 because i've got various shooters uh, various cave shooters that will benefit by using this scanline generator where i can actually emulate more of a pcb original look and for some of the games i haven't got on pcb the cave shooters it'll look that much better i have tried it actually and it does look absolutely fantastic the uh, purpose of this video really is just to show you guys what it looks like on an LCD screen because that's what most people have in their homes, they won't have CRTs. Um, uh, the actual uh, unit itself, and I've uh, sort of said this already and I've mentioned it again in some of the demo uh, videos that are going to be attached to this video, that I'll be put up shortly, um, that this actual uh, piece of equipment can be used on an absolute wide variety of... of um, of consoles or modern PCs or you know whatever uh, basically anything that you can feed uh, the SLG as regards to a VGA signal it will work with it so you could even put it in in line with a PC if you've got games that you want to have scan lines on for instance things that are in MAME or so forth but MAME will do that itself there's probably a little benefit of doing that for LCD purposes um, but it will work with the Xbox 360 as I said for the majority of people that aren't into their sort of cave games if you download any game from Xbox Live Arcade it's an, uh, that's a retro uh, port conversion you could run it with that uh, to make that look more more authentic um, uh, it will work with the PlayStation 3 so basically for any uh, console that isn't natively or or can't natively output a VGA, you will need to get another bit of equipment, which, uh, as I've mentioned before, is is called a scaler or line doubler. Um, they can be cheap. Uh, the one that I've got is a cheap one. Yeah, you're talking 50, 60 quid. So you couple that with the price of the SLG, and you're talking, uh, you know, around about sort of 90 pound for a setup that will actually serve a multitude of of, um, of purposes really or different connection types from well same connection type but various consoles sorry confusing myself there um, so it, it it really is I mean it really is a great bit of kit if you've got an LCD screen uh, or plasma and and you're into your retro games and you really are into retro games where you want them to look as authentic as possible then this is a bit of kit you've got to buy. I mean, you've just got to go out and get it. You really have. There's no it's buts or maybes. It does exactly what it says it, it will do, and it works really, really well. And as you'll see by some of the videos uh, coming up after this introduction, the uh, the differences, uh, you won't be able to... The, it, it, it's, it's not as apparent as what it is with a naked eye. It looks a lot better with a naked eye. So you think it looks good on the videos, you won't actually see it in the naked you know, with your naked eye, it, it really does look good. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't look as good as a as a native connection to a CRT tube. It just doesn't, because there's other things about CRT technology that gives some other effects that this doesn't generate. But, I've gotta be honest again, uh, the difference between having it and not having it, it is a massive difference for LCD screens. You know, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I won't be using it for LCD screens because I don't connect anything up to an LCD screen for that purpose because I've got all the native stuff. So it's it's of a less, 
it's of a more limited use to me, but it's still bloody useful, it really is. I mean, I'm going to make a lot of use out of this without a shadow of a doubt for a number of games and uh, consoles, specifically Xbox 360, and that was probably one of the main reasons I bought it, and for PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox, but um, uh, more so the Xbox 360. But I hope you can see on the video uh, the differences. Um, it is fairly obvious, but like I said, in, in real life, it, it's he it, it really is head and shoulders above a normal a, your normal input that you would normally use, which would be uh, normally via a you know via a console. If you've got RGB SCART, it's always the best way to connect that. So if you use an RGB SCART to connect to your LCD or plasma, this will be a shed load better. It really will be. But, you know, no two ways about it. So anyway, hope the video is really useful to you. If you've got any questions or queries, anything you want to ask. The fireware and comments. If there's any other consoles you want to see, I've got an absolute, um, I wouldn't say an ultimate extensive collection of consoles, but I've got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. So, if there's anything specific, if you want to see the Xbox 360 stuff and the Xbox stuff or PlayStation 2 or whatever, just give me a shout and I will show you what they look like. But they will look the same as what I'm showing you now. You know, there will be no difference. It will give you the same, same effect. Hope you enjoy the video. Right, for my first test then, we are going to look at the SLG3000 uh, scanline generator um, running after a cheap um, a line doubler or scaler that accepts an RGB signal, SCART RGB. So I plug the console into the uh, scan line doubler, sorry, scan line doubler, uh, into the line doubler. That converts a signal to VGA uh, type uh, signal that will plug straight into an LCD screen or plasma. That is then going through this SLG3000 to produce scan lines and then into the um, uh, LCD screen. Uh, for the purpose of these demos of the LCD, it is a um, a PC LCD screen, so it's not a TV one, it's a PC one. In theory, with a good piece, sorry, in theory, with a good TV LCD screen or plasma, you should get a slightly better picture again, but you know. Right, so uh, this is everything linked up. This is um, Saturn, and we're looking at Sega Ages. Now, uh, obviously, on the previous video, I showed you uh, that I hooked up to a CRT in native low res mode, so you can see what it looks like as it was actually meant to look as regards to scan lines. Now, this is with the scan line generator actually switched off. Now, again, from this sort of distance, on a video camera, you're not gonna take the, sorry, you're not gonna actually see uh, the differences from this kind of, um, sorry, um, <laughs> picking your words out now. Uh, from this distance, that's better, uh, that was the word. If I zoom in, and you'll see that the image looks okay, but it's quite flat. I've obviously, I've, well not obviously, but I've, I've uh, optimi optimised, crack, I get my words out today. Um, I've optimised all the colours the best I can on this LCD for, for consoles, sharpness and all that jazz. But the picture looks okay, as you can see, and if I sort of zoom in, but you notice it is, it is fairly blocky, yeah? And this is your typical uh, reproduction on an LCD screen, using a cheap uh, line doubler. Now what this doesn't pick up on this video is the fact that there is some artifacting and slight ghosting. And it's because of the quality of the line doubler. The more you spend, the better the image. But for the purpose of this video, it's absolutely fine. And it looks, it looks okay, to be fair. It's fine. Right, the same setup, exactly the same setup, same game, same console, same screen, same bits of equipment. So the line doubler in place. And also the SLG3000, but I've actually enabled the SLG3000 now. So I've got scan lines on it. Now you may actually see, even from this distance, it may look sharper. I don't know if it does on the video, but I can, I can tell you it looks a load better with your naked eye. 
it really does. You can see a massive difference uh, with the scan lines. Now, if I come in, you should be able to see them scan lines. And again, it's not particularly clear on here. The focusing is having a problem making it sharp, but it, it, it is a massive difference. And you should be able to see the scan lines here, but they are certainly more prominent with the naked eye. It's just the, uh, the quality of this camera. So this is with the SLG 3000 switched on and uh, whatever scan line level I've got set, I don't know, it's on a potentiometer, it's probably halfway around, so 50-60% scan lines. But I can tell you, for starters, that it actually cleans the image up a hell of a lot. You don't see the ghosting like you were seeing before. Um, it just looks a whole a shed load better. I mean, you can see the scan lines there. But like I said, actually in real life, it, it is it is like chalk and cheese. And this is on a normal LCD screen. Now this LCD screen is natively, natively best at uh, 1080p. So it is a proper um, a true HD uh, LCD screen, uh, which most people have got, or a lot of people have got. So, this is fairly representative, what you can get your image to look like on, on a high def display now with this new scanline generator. Which, I've got to be honest, I'm really impressed with. I mean, I, I, I won't play these consoles much on these types of display because I've got CRTs which are native and all that lot so I don't need to but for a lot of people out there that haven't got CRTs don't want them then they can buy extra things here i.e. the SLG 3000 at a very cheap price of 49 euros and it will give you this effect and, and it does look absolutely tremendous it really does trust me right let's go to the next uh, demo right the next demo come up this is an Another low res console, this is Super Nintendo and it's playing Gradius. Again, exactly the same connection method, exactly the same screen as what I showed on, on the demo of the Saturn at the start. Um, so this is set up and there's no scan lines. So this is what you would expect to see on an LCD screen in effect. And again, it doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it don't look great, trust me. Zooming on there, you can see that's quite blocky. Very flat image, as you would get on an LCD. Right, so let's turn on the scanline generator. Right, so here we are, exactly the same again, but uh, this time the scanline generator switched on on an LCD screen and you can just again it's not it's not picking up particularly well at all you can see it probably better on there oh, right you can see it better there it doesn't seem to be uh, picking up particularly well on this video camera oh come on let's, let's start this game off right so if we come onto this screen here and you can see the scan lines there. And again, it's not focusing particularly well. This is a bit of a... See them there? But trust me, uh, with a naked eye, it looks a hell of a lot better. It really does. Nice and sharp. Let's just start the game off and get the ship up. Uh, I'll just start the old thing. I'm trying to hold a camera and press a joypad at the same time, isn't it? Isn't particularly easy. Come on. Right. But it's not focused, it's focusing really badly. I've got to apologise for this. Let's see if we can sort that. Right, that's better. I've just turned on macro mode. We should be able to see them a bit better now. But again, trust me. It looks absolutely mint now compared to what it did before. And again, this is an LCD display. So you've got your scan lines. It just looks so much better, it really does. 
Our school there. Right, so that's the Super Nintendo with the scan lines. Again on an LCD screen. Right, next console up is uh, is a slight change of tact. This isn't a low res console. Anyone that can uh, realise what this game is, it is in fact a Nintendo GameCube. So it's a console that I haven't done any videos on yet. Again, it's one of these consoles, uh, one of the many other consoles that I've got that I haven't uh, actually done any gameplay stuff on, but undoubtedly I will do in the future. Um, so N64, um, N64 GameCube down there. I've got all sorts of thinking. I've got I've got stuff everywhere at the moment. It's thinking embarrassing. Um, right now, this is natively in reality a a high res console, sort of. It outputs a 480i resolution or type image interlaced, which you will get a slight flicker on if you play it on a CRT tube. Now, obviously, an LCD screen you don't get a flicker on it because LCD is progressive, so it de interlaces it. Um, now, actually, I'm, I'm actually showing you that with scan lines, so. Let's twiddle me knob. I can do that with one hand. Right, okay, that's got rid of my scan lines. So, this is exactly the same connection method, same screen, same everything, just different console. So if we look at this there, okay, we zoom in, and the picture looks fine. It looks okay. But it's not great. It's not great. I don't particularly like uh, this kind of image as I don't like the other ones but anyway so and it looks alright like I said so let's turn the scan lines on and I might have to reset my camera and turn the macro mode on because it won't pick it up I don't think let's see if I can see this on the naked or so I'm looking for the viewfinder now actually you will see on the image I, I can see it on the on the on the camera as I turn the scan lines on uh, you do get some wavy lines coming up on the screen, so it is obviously picking a difference up even from this level, but you won't see it in detail. So, let's set them appropriate level, that'll do for now. And if I come back in, you will see the scan lines. Now again, I'm just going to stop this and restart it. Right, that's clear, I've got macro mode on now. So you can see the scan lines. You should be able to see them a lot better now. There you go, that's better. And of course, it just makes the image look so much better. It's amazing how much difference it makes, even on an LCD screen. So, don't write off your LCD screen yet for your retro consoles, because you can get bits of kit that will make it look a hell of a lot better. So, again, let's just come in a bit more there, come right in there. It's not particularly sharp on here, but it gives you those scan lines. You can pick them up, and it it, it makes a massive difference on the on the image quality. You know, without a doubt. Again, from a distance, you're not going to see it. And the naked eye, you can, but it's not being picked up. But certainly, when you zoom in, you see a difference, and it is a massive difference. It really is. So that's a GameCube.